What are we going to do? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find... ...and somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Carol. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. shelter. We go. I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. here. That way we won't be smoked out. Once we cross the border, we can start over. You can go to school. 
Maybe I'll find a job. We'll be like them. Like everyone else. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Come on. Let's get you to bed. in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a princess who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl who lived alone in a big old house. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but... She was different. And that made her very sad. Then, she met a robot. Who was just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together. To try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but... They were so brave that they escaped all of them. Along the way, they met... A gentle giant who promised to protect them. How does the story end? They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings, but real life isn't like that. to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Dallas. Sleep tight. brave. Do you remember anything from your life before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer, 
Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free? <laughs> I like the sound of it. But I don't know what it really means yet. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? No. What do you mean? like you. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Well, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. Come Kara. I don't think you have any choice. Be our guest! The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin! seen her smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. Thank you. 
Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. They can simulate human emotions, but they're machines, and machines don't feel anything. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task? Did you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? Or did you just not give a shit one way or the other? Of course I didn't feel anything, Lieutenant. I'm a machine. Machines don't have emotions. But are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? You know you're not going to shoot me, Lieutenant. You're just trying to provoke a reaction. I'm afraid I'm going to have to disappoint you. You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smartass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not.
Pick them up and make it snap. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Good morning, Miss Wilson. Sorry to bother you. This is Mike from the car park. There's a problem with your car. Problem? Uh, what kind of problem? Somebody's backed into it. You'd better come take a look. Are you serious? Oh, God. All right. Fine, I'll be right down. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks.
I need your help. Access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Hey, what's wrong with that thing? Jesus Christ, this piece of shit. All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. first.
okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. Let's do this. is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. created machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient and docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights.
We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. Let's get out of here. Congratulations, Marcus. You just made history. Maybe you're the one we've been waiting for. interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation resulted in one casualty, a broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. These events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines?